What is going on guys? I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the or set up the Dark Comet Rat 5.3.1. Alright, so first things first, uh, this is a disclaimer, whatever you do, don't, ran you probably know this, but whatever you do, don't download random stuff from the internet um, that you do not know of. So if you are downloading the Dark Comet Rat, which has all this stuff in it, make sure it is a legit it is a legitimate source, um, you know where it's coming from, you trust the user, and yeah, I'll put a download link, but it's up to you if you believe me or not. Obviously it's not a rat, I'll open it right now. And it will open up like that. Yeah, so obviously not a rat, it's your choice if you want to trust me or not. But yeah, so let's get forward, or let's go forward. First things first, you're going to need this and you're going to need this. This is the no IP duck and this is the dark comment rat 5.3.1. First, you're going to want to make an account on noip.com. Make an account and then click on add a host. And once you go here, you want to type in your host name. You can type in, for example, I don't know, and do this. Random. And make sure it's on no dash. IP.biz. This is the extension you want to use. Make sure it's DNS host A. Uh, this is my VPN's IP. Um, it should be, don't touch this, it should be, it should have your IP right there. Unless you don't know your IP, you can just go to cmyip.com and it would tell you your IP right here. Alright, so then you would just click on update host. I already set mine up. So yeah, update your host, set that up, do all that, and then open up your duck. Sign into your duck, I'm just going to say duck because I don't know what the exact word is, and click on edit hosts. And then once you have your edit host, once you're in here, check your host that you selected, and click on save. And it should work. Yeah, there you go. And now minimize that, you're done with the no IP stuff, that's just making your servers more secure. And then open up your dark comet, dot rat, dot rat, dot exe. And we'll wait for it to load. There we go. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, we will be using the port 200. Uh, you can use the default port, which is 1604, but you can use any port really, just for this tutorial I'm going to be using 200. All right, so first things first, just click on add new, add new socket, but make sure there's nothing here. And I'm going to type in 200 and check this. It's basically trying to port forward it on your router if your router allows that option. Click listen. Now, now that you have that, you want to go up to your router and port forward everything. And I will be right back when I have that op open. All right, now since I'm using a Telus router, it looks like this, but your router might look different. Um, normally you want to go into your firewall and then it should say port forwarding. And for the starting port, you want to put 200. And for the ending port, you want to put 200. And then put protocol to TCP. Now for your LAN IP address, um, open up this, go into CMD and type in IP config. Now for this, I'm not going to do this because for obvious reasons but because it would show all your network's information and stuff. So yeah, once you go there, it should show that, all that stuff. Go Scroll up to your IPv4 address and it should say 192.168.something.something. Dot dot something. And just type it in like this, dot something. It, usually it's one dot something. I'm gonna replace the zeros with whatever yours is. And yeah, no, and then click on apply or whatever yours is saved blah 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 and then do the same thing except for the protocol you use UDP and do the same LAN IP address you use and once you set that up you can you don't need that anymore and then you want to go on canyousteemy.org I'll put all these links in the description um, since I'm using a VPN for the t purpose of this tutorial it's not gonna work like this thing this website's not gonna work because I'm using a VPN but for yours it will like it should work because unless you're using a vpn anyways type in 200 right here and click on check your port 
and here it should say success I can see your port or I can see your service on blank 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 and yeah and if it says success you know it's working if not then go on port forwarding tutorial websites and figure out how to port forward all right so now that you have that set up you can finally open up dark comment and click this and make sure you're it's listening and make sure and make sure yeah make sure it's listening and go here and click on the full editor now for this don't worry about the security password generate a random process mutex a couple times and don't worry about these just leave them blank the firewall bypass is basically if you don't plan on encrypting the sub and you don't plan on using sandbox to test it out then don't check this um yeah i'm not gonna check it so for the hosts file you want to type in your ip right here and the port you want to type in 200. i'm just going to leave mine on the default one because i'm not i'm not sending mine to anyone so yeah then for the module startup click on the start the stub with windows for the best um, way to keep it hidden i would drop the file in your temp in their temp folder and save it as system 32 dl and then you want to click or check melt file after first ex execution don't worry about the file creation date unless you really want to yeah and for the persistence installation it, it basically makes it so when they kill it it comes back and check all these now for the install message um i'm just going to use the default one which is welcome to dark comet rat if you, if you see this message it means the stub successfully runs and you appear in the master user list obviously don't use that unless you want them to know they're being ratted which usually you don't so yeah you can even put customize the icon yeah so there you go and for the module shield um check all these because that's just gonna hide it um don't check these because it will raise suspicion like it'll obviously disabling their user account control their firewall their registry and their task manager they'll be like hmm why is this disabled so yeah obviously don't check these and you, unless you really want to hit the person hard and you want them to know that they're obviously a virus but um, even if you disable all these, there's still a way for them to get into their firewall and all that. So it's not really recommended. And yeah, so don't worry about the keylogger, host file, plugins, and the file binder, and the icon. These, icon. these icons are all fake. They look different than the normal icons, so don't use them. After the stub finalization, don't do anything. Keep it as an exe file. And if you want to use this, if you want to make multiple rats, then save the profile. So yeah, build this up. I'm gonna call mine test. And it should say done here. All right, it is done, okay. And you can close this up. And right, here's your rat. Make sure you don't open it by accident or else it will cause damage to your computer. So yeah, basically you're done. If you do want to test it on yourself, right click it and run it with Sandbox. I will put a link to Sandbox. It's basically like a virtual server. Um, it runs stuff outside your computer, so it, it won't affect your computer. So yeah, we can send an error message to that, and we will click OK. And there. For some reason, it's not appearing on the master use list. I'm pretty sure it's because I'm using a VPN. I'm not, oh, there we go. There we go. It showed on here. It says, you have a new user, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, we infected ourselves, and... Now, once you have that person infected, you can do stuff with their computer. For example, you can look at their system info. You can see where they are. You can find out their IP. You can go to piano, which I like. Beep, beep. Play music on the computer. Send a message box. Like, lol, you got ratted. And you would send it to their computer. And yep, there we go. Well, you got right. And Microsoft Reader. I don't think this always works, but I'll try it. 
yeah, it doesn't work. But, um, yeah, everything else works. You can do all these. Um, set up a remote chat. This would be your master control. This would be, they won't, like, obviously, look, they can't close this. Only you can close it from here. And you can nudge their screen. Type in hello. And it would go to their screen. It'd be like, who is this? I don't know. And you can close it like that. There you go. There's system functions. There's all this. There's scripting. There's files management. You can view their files. You can delete their files. You can look at their passwords. Just click refresh and it'll show you a list of their passwords. Um, spy. Look at their webcam. Hear what they're saying. Look at them through a remote desktop. Like, look at their desktop pretty much. Um, all this stuff. You can turn off their computer. Do all sorts of stuff. It's up to you, really. And since we have it sandbox, we can sit, terminate the program. And then it's gone. That's only if you use it with uh, sandbox. Because we didn't infect our computer, technically. So yeah, um, basically that's how you use it. That's when you rat someone, that's how you use it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will include a link of all of these in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.